שלום וברכה. There is an amazing story that was uh, told by Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. A simple story that is... Uh, that shades a lot of light onto our lives. So there was a Jewish beggar and a non-Jewish beggar and they were both good friends. Now, in the days before the holidays of um, Passover came and it's a known thing that the people of Israel in those days before Passover they were very busy in giving charity and helping families and on and especially in the night itself of the Seder, the main night of the holiday so everyone are taking guests to their houses, inviting people so the Jewish beggar had mercy for his non-Jewish friend and he decided to qualify him for this uh, wonderful day for him to have the opportunity to enjoy the feast, the suta, the meal of the holy day and to eat from all the wonderful beautiful food and to enjoy a good evening hosted by a nice family so he taught him the halachot, the Jewish rules about the seder how to wash the hands and what he should do to pretend that he's Jewish and to go with him to the synagogue and after the prayer someone will call him and invite him, call him to his house and, and he will be able to participate in the wonderful meal. So he taught him all the halachot and everything. Just he forgot to mention one thing that before the meal we eat malo. Malo is that bitter kind of food or vegetable that we eat before the meal to remind ourselves of the bitterness that we experienced in Egypt. So the guy came to the Beit Knesset after the prayer some family came to him and asked him if he would like to join them. He said yes, thank you so much, joined them, went to the meal, washed their hands like they told him and they're reading and reading from the Agadah of Pesach and reading and reading and reading barely putting something to their mouths a little bit and then they said they can wash their hands and eat from the matzah and he was happy already coming to the meal the Jewish guy told him that before the meal they wash their hands eating matzah and then all the good food is arriving so the guy washed his hand and ate the matzah with great expectation and then after such long time of reading and talking and talking they served them alone, the bitter kind of food. And when he tasted that, he came to that understanding, those damn Jews, look what they're eating, look at their customs, their minhagim, what are they eating, bitter food, not tasty. And he was so upset and angry, went away, stood up from the table in rage and went back to to his place to sleep in the Beit Midrash, in the place that they were taking cover at night and uh, after two or three hours his Jewish friend came all fat and satisfied joyful from the meal told him how was your meal he said it was horrible why what happened he said that maro bitter thing that you're eating what's going on with you he said yes okay but after the maro two minutes later you have a great meal how was the meal he said, ah, I was so upset, I went out without dining, without eating the meal. He did not realize that if he will suffer the bitterness for another two minutes, he will get to that place of enjoying the greatness of the meal of the Passover. The people of Israel, when they were in the desert, they also came to a similar place when they drank bitter water. It's called Maim Marim and they drank from it and they started to complain and to whine and to be so angry and upset on Moshe, on Moses told him why you took us out of Egypt are there no enough graves in Egypt that you took us to die in the desert we miss Egypt the days that we were in Egypt we were able to eat we had vegetables over there we had potatoes we had 
garlic, we had watermelons. They're not mentioning a piece of meat. They're not mentioning cakes or cookies. They're not mentioning good, nice bread, cups of wine. They're mentioning the most low, most simple kind of food that they were eating in Egypt. That the only reason why they mentioned it was because that they had a complaint in their heart. To complain because they did not want to suffer and to accept the bitterness that was part of their preparation for the greatness of the great feast that Hashem prepared for them. And the outcome of that complaint, of that fight of the, the people of Israel with Moshe in Egypt, in, in the desert of Sinai after coming out of Egypt, extended their path and wandering in the desert for 40 years. Instead for suffering for three days with acceptance of the supervision of Hashem and trying to understand the lesson of that bitterness and to understand why it came and what is the message and what should I learn from this bitterness, from that pain that I'm going through in my life. Because they were not willing to learn and they just rejected that lesson and they were not willing to accept the wisdom, the spark, the point of goodness that is shining, the holy rebuke, the holy teachings of godliness, of the Creator that sends His messages through our life situations. They were not willing to accept that. They did not want it to surrender to the supervision and to understand that they also have something to learn, that they also have something to fix and to correct. And they just complained and were angry and upset and rejecting the wisdom. Because of that, they had to go through that 40 years of rejection that all the people that came out of Egypt, all the men that came out of Egypt died in the desert. But Yoshua and Kalev, only Yoshua and Kalev Ben Yifune were able to enter to the Holy Land of Israel, if I'm not wrong, and the women. The women also were allowed to enter the land of Israel after 40 years because they were not complaining and they were not participating in that whining rage. When people do not accept the lesson that they go through in life and they want to reject it and they're fighting and they're upset and they're not willing to heal, they are extending their own exile. They're not allowing themselves to understand in a short way, the short version of their educational process, and they reject the wisdom. On Esav, the brother of Yaakov, it's written, Vayivez Esav et that he insulted despite rejected the blessing of being elder, because the Bechora is to be the first to be born is equal to be the wiser one. The wisdom and the eldership, to be elder and to be wise, is one thing in a very fundamental aspect of those two concepts. Like the verse is saying, Rashit Chochma, the big is wisdom. So the ones that are in the beginning, they supposed to be the wise. And he rejected that quality, and therefore he lost the eldership. He lost it to Yaakov. And Yaakov, that he was in the aspect of wisdom, that he was a wise person, getting into my parking, he gained the eldership and he became Bechol. Thank you for the warning. You see, just need to take some rebuke. You're too close to the wall. And then I will not have to hit it. Thank you.